um, we're told that to do repentance and pray well and everything else to have a good year. So last year, many people prayed well, and the, the questioner says they prayed well, and they repented, and um, they had a last year. And they say that they're sure that many people who died this year also um, also tried very hard to do to repent last year and prayed very well. Um, how do we explain that? And what's the well, use of and what's the use of praying well and doing tshuva if it doesn't help anyone? Well, I, I started off in the very beginning by saying, in a simple form, you do good on Rosh Hashanah, you'll get a good year. But I said it's very uh, elementary and uh, very misleading. And there's so many different variables that go into the Cheshman. And uh, uh, this goes into the question of Tzadik Viraloi, Rosh Hashanah. By tzaddik and rash, people, bad things happen to them, or what good things happen to the bad people. And this is the ongoing question. Moshe Rabbeinu asked Hashem this question. And, uh, but we know that just to give a uh, basic understanding, this world is a temporary world. The world to come is a permanent world. And what we happens to us in this world is not a thing that we should uh, uh, judge of what good to good people and bad to bad people and vice versa, because the main place that's gonna take place will be in the world to come. So there might be a person with the tshuva in this world. It's, it wasn't for nothing. If the tshuva for some reason, he's not supposed to live any longer. Maybe he was not destined when he was born. We're told the person when they're born, they're destined to a certain amount of years. Maybe that time came and it's time for him to leave the world. So it's not the tshuva that he did didn't help, but uh, it certainly helped for, for the world to come. The tshuva becomes clean to the world to come, the everlasting schar that will get uh, rewarded for the tshuva that he did in this world. So we can't judge success by what we see in this world. This world is very temporary, and the different old times and reasons why people think happen to people. And uh, uh, sometimes they have punishment because it has to uh, purify their soul for something that they did wrong. And uh, for them, the best thing is for them to uh, have that problem and, and that pain that would have to suffer. Because just like uh, we say, a doctor uh, inflicts pain upon the patient, but that in the long run, it's the best thing for them. So. Uh, these are different uh, uh, ways Hashem judges the world. And, uh, and I just mentioned a few of the things, but there's a lot to be considered. But we say Hashem is just, he, his reward is, and his way of, of uh, running the world is perfect. We don't understand it but, uh, many times. And, but when the, the world to come, Hashem will take away the curtain of, of, of a not understanding. I will see everything that was done was perfect, just the, the right thing. And uh, even though it doesn't seem uh, to fit into our daily lives and the way we um, uh, are mathematical, two and two is four, but uh, uh, the time will come that we'll understand why this happened and why that happened. You know, the Chavetz Chaim's famous uh, word, I'll end off with that, that uh, he gives a marshal that the person, uh, first time he came to shul, and uh, they came to read the, the Torah, and the Gabbai calls up to the Torah. He called one person from that side of the shul for, for the first Aliyah. So they talked to the other part of the shul. He said, why was he doing that for? Well, it would take every person, every sitting next to each other. He said, seven people, one is sitting to the other. Why is he going to the parts of the shul? So <laughs> that person, very unknowledgeable, un un doesn't know that the people got any Aliyahs, all different reasons why they got Aliyahs. There's a yard site, there's a, there's a simcha, there's an afrof, there's a bar mitzvah. Everybody has their own, they're sitting in different parts of the shul. We just can't go down the road and give everybody an aliyah. Everybody has their, their reason. The same way we look at the world, how come that person's sick and that person's uh, is rich and that person it seems that it doesn't seem right. But uh, it's like saying everybody should have a, uh, like the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven aliyahs. But uh, uh, God knows that that person, that circumstances, those circumstances, uh, people from the outside don't realize, don't know 
just like the, the guy doesn't know in the shul why, why they're getting different aliyahs. So, but the curtain will be uh, pulled away in the future that will see why it happens to him like that, and it happens like this, and so on. Everything is the cheshman of the true judgment of Hashem. <laughs> Who can I call? The